What's up guys, here with uh, another Adiron Airsoft review, but this isn't really a review, it's an unboxing. And even then, it's not really an unboxing because this is a bag. But, um, this is a package that I got today in the mail. I'm very excited about it. It'll bring the channel to a whole new level um, and just add another um, dimension to the videos. Not just reviews, but something else you guys have been asking me to do for a very long time. So uh, let me open this up and I will explain what it is um, more in depth. So let me open this up. Alright, so here we have it. Um, this is actually a lot more than I expected. Wow, look at that. Alright, so um, I will put these these hats to the side. Um, didn't expect those. But in the most recent vlog, actually my most recent video, I put a, a little thing at the end. I mentioned that um, you guys have been asking me a long time for first person, or not first person, but war footage in general. And I said there might be some of that in the future, and that was hinting to what I have right here. I've been talking to Tachyon. Um, they, they're known for their helmet cameras, their first person cameras. And for a long time I've been looking at different helmet cameras and stuff. And with, um, I was just kind of undecisive on where to go, where to start, what cameras are good and what, what aren't. Um, a lot of you have seen the uh, little helmet cam I tried to, tried to make with a little $15 um, spy camera, spy camera, and I hooked it up to my um, main filming camera, put that in a bag, and it was just a pain. It wasn't worth it. So um, recently, within the past six months, Tachyon has come out with their new ops line um, of cameras. The whole point of the ops line is that they're there for, um, for shooting sports for military simulation games, paintball, airsoft, shooting real guns, um, hunting, any of that. But they also, because these cameras are so small, they can be used for a variety of other things. You can use them for, um, thing that comes to mind is, um, like, RC helicopters, RC planes, because they won't affect the, uh, the can or the, the whatever, whether it's a helicopter or a plane that much. Um, weight won't be that much of an issue because they're so small. Um, so here we have the Tachyon HD Ops or Ops HD. Um, Tachyon came out with their Ops SD, which is the um, a little bit smaller version of this. And um, if you are interested in uh, seeing a video of that, check out what you're looking at channel. He got one a couple months back and um, did a review and all, and that was um, gave me a little bit more information on um, this actually. But I've been talking to Tachyon for a while, and they told me as soon as the HD versions came in because they, I mean, they just within the last month were released. Um, they just came in, they filled out their pre-orders, and then they shipped one of these to me to review. And so hopefully, I am the first um, or one of the first large channels to actually review one of these. I'm extremely excited because this opens up a whole new dimension to the channel and um, now to the unboxing and I will show you guys this um, out of the packaging. One thing I forgot to mention just as I was uh, going off on a tangent talking about this was in the package there were actually two Tachyon hats which uh, that's really awesome. I really didn't expect them to do this so huge thanks to Tachyon. Maybe we'll give one of these away. Um, I'll definitely have to wear these um, while I'm airsofting and using this, although I'll have to switch off between this and my Adiron Airsoft hat. But um, huge thanks to Tachyon for all of this stuff. By the way, you can get these for about $140, which is really cheap for a, um, a nice camera, um, especially one so small that you can put on your um, helmet. And one of the big things that really attracted me to this camera was it was so small that they had a little mount that goes on just the uh, little bill of the hat. So let's me, let me open this up and see how small it really is. Uh, opening up just through the top. Um, by the way, ni nice packaging. It shows you different sports it, and uh, hobbies it can be used for on the back. It shows um, shooting real rifles, paintball, um, motocross and stuff, uh, airsoft, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, so just opening it up, you have a little bit of dual lock, which I'm guessing is, I mean, it looks a lot like Velcro. Except for actually, um, yeah, it's like Velcro, but it, it clings to itself. You don't need two sides. They kind of 
it clings to itself. <laughs> um, there's a little paper for the dual lock. Sliding this out, this is, it looks like a, um, oh, it's a USB uh, cord. Sliding out the packaging. Here's pretty much everything. Um, it's really small. We'll, go, we'll pull out the camera last. Here's one of the mounts. This is um, what looks like the hat mount. It's not solely for hats. It's actually just a little clip that you can put, at, put on a hat. On their website, though, there's a picture of uh, one guy. He has it clipped onto um, sort of the, the zipper of his jacket. So you could have it at chest level if you want. And this also rotates around so you can get different views and it pivots like that so really cool tons of uh different ranges of motion so you can really adjust this at any way you want moving on to the next mount that is included right here this is just the um the helmet mount it has a um curved bottom to it and so you can just put the camera in there and then mount this using the dual lock to um, whether it be a, a full face mask or just a helmet or something. You can put it on the top of your helmet, the side of your helmet, whatever you want. You can mount this on um, round surfaces. The next attachment is a camera mount. I can tell because I can, um, on the bottom there's the little um, threads to mount it on your, your tripod. Um, Sorry, I meant to say tripod mount, not camera mount. But um, you can put this on your tripod because it has the threads there. So if for some reason you did want to use it on a tripod or if you had some attachment with a um, with one of those little thread things, then you could use it on that. Here we have the uh, little protective housing for it. It's uh, just a plastic um, casing for it. I'm, not, or I'm sure it's not going to protect against everything, but it protects... Um, from BB hits if, it were, if there was a, a stray BB coming at you and it ended up hit, hitting you in the camera or in the um, where the camera is then for the most part it would be protected obviously a direct hit to the lens probably wouldn't help or wouldn't uh, be good for the camera but it really helps and here's the camera itself um, that's that's light <laughs> it's all I'm gonna say is it's light um, one thing that you can tell is the difference between the HD and the SD is the HD has three little grooves there, whereas the SD has two. And um, to give you a, a size comparison, here's a hat, here's the camera. So, I mean, it's smaller than the Tachyon logo on the hat. So, thing is really small, it's really light. I mean, um, it's not like you can't feel it, it's... Obviously, you know, you're holding it. There's a tiny bit of weight, but it's not like a huge camera or um, anything too bulky that's going to um, hurt your neck after a while if, if this is on your head or um, just moving around. It's not going to impede um, anything or make looking around awkward. Um, it's so light that it's just, it'll just be there and um, filming and you won't even have to really pay attention to it. So I'm um, looking onto the back, you seem to have um, just a couple buttons. Let me look at them real quick and name what they are. Uh, you just have a power button, a, um, the power button's the big button right there, hopefully. Yeah, you can see. Um, obviously the biggest button, so you don't even have to look at the camera. You can just reach around and hit the button um, without having to think much about it. And then you also have, on this side, you have a little lock, unlock button. So I guess you can... Um, turn it to lock so then you can't accidentally hit the button. It won't um, turn off unless you unlock it again. And then it also has a little um, video or still image um, switch. So that's really cool that it can actually take still images and it does like a, um, like a, a sort of a time lapse. I'm not sure how long it is. I think it's like every two seconds but it'll take another picture. What you're looking at did a um, demonstration of that in his house, so check his video out. I'll put a link in the description. Check that out, he did that with the SD version. And um, it was pretty cool, actually. So let me just uh, show you how it clips onto these mounts. Um, we'll only use this one for now. 
but um, being that there are the grooves in the side, line it up so that the it says tachyon on the top, because that's the top, and then mount that in. And the little there's little grooves inside the mount that'll latch into the grooves on the outside. So um, I mean it's not going anywhere. That's firmly and there's no shaking whatsoever. There's no um, moving around in this in the uh, little mount, it's not going to fall out. So then you can mount it to, let's say, your hat. This is probably how I'm going to have it mounted most of the time. But, um, wow, this is... <laughs> it's probably best to mount it first and then... Mount it first and then, um... Then put the camera in because that's a really stiff um, clip right there, but, um, give me a second to get this all in, yep, and there you go. You have your camera mounted on your hat, and it's so light that it shouldn't be much of an issue with the weight and all, um, I actually put the camera in the wrong way, it's sideways, but, um, that doesn't matter much for right now, there you go. You have your camera on your hat. And um, if you want to adjust it, if you need to move it down or up, there's tons of, uh, there's a huge range of motion with this. You can swivel it around and all. Um, so, really cool with that. Um, actually, I'll just leave that on. Pull the camera, not, camera off, and here you have your tripod mount, and it latches on. And then also here you have your, um, your standard, your little protective shield for it so um really cool I'm, I'm extremely excited about this and i can't wait to make some cool videos with this get some game footage in there and um so actually i have this in home there are three little hopefully yeah you can see that there's three little um grooves um or bumps with the um protective covering you're just going to want to line those up so it sort of latches in a little bit yeah I'm wondering if it can go in this way. I don't know. I I mean, I just got this. You guys watched me open it up. There you go. So it does have a, a protective um, shield on the front, and then the back is open so you can hit the button. So that's really nice. Um, I had it in wrong the first time. But it protects your camera very nicely, and um, you might get away with a couple uh, BB hits to it before you have to replace it or have any damage. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I uh, hope you guys are interested in the new um, game footage that I will be taking with this. And um, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Sorry if this video did take a while. But um, I'm quite excited about this. And hopefully it will elevate the channel to a whole new level. Um, check it out. TachyonInc.com So um, check them out. Look at it. Look at the uh, test footage they have and the um, the stats on it. Full review will be coming. I will be doing tests of it, and then after that, then I'll just be doing game footage once my uh, shoulder heals up a bit, then I, and I'm actually able to play again. But um, stay tuned for more information on the Tachyon Ops HD, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.